Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Hornsby, and as you probably know if you've been watching my channel, I do myofunctional therapy. I'm a myofunctional therapist and I see all of my patients online and I make videos like this all the time so that you can learn more about your tongue and your breathing and everything there is to know about myofunctional therapy. Now today I want to talk about something that I think is one of the most important components of good and successful myofunctional therapy, and that is the back of the tongue. A lot of people forget about the back of the tongue. It's not just about the tip of the tongue going up to the spot, which is important. That helps with our tongue posture in general, but the critical outcome of myofunctional therapy or the critical goal of myofunctional therapy is the full tongue needs to be up fully making contact with the top of the mouth. I don't know how this gets missed. It's much more important to get the middle and the back of the tongue up making palatal contact even than I think the tip of the tongue is to go to the spot. The reason I think this is so critical is the, it's really the middle and the back of the tongue that provides support for our palate and our dental arch. If, our, if the back of the tongue is not up, this is where you'll have orthodontic relapse. Even if the tongue is perfectly on the spot and the lips are together, if the back of the tongue drops down low, it's not going to help you long term. The other thing is the back of the tongue is stability for our TMJ. If the tongue is low, this, this joint here by our ears, the temporomandibular joint or joints, uh, they are not in a stable position. So when the middle of the tongue and the back of the tongue is up against the palate, now this joint is in a stable position, it's in a functional position, and it's healthy and aligned for the rest of the head and neck. Now, if the tongue is low, and especially if the mouth is open on top of that, now we get muscle compensations. Now we get clenching and grinding. All the muscles are basically trying to compensate for the dysfunction of the tongue. So we have to get that back of the tongue up to provide stability for the TMJ, to provide optimal orthodontic outcomes, and one more thing, to help with sleep apnea. If the back of the tongue can't go up or isn't going up, guess what's going to happen when you sleep? The tongue is going to fall into your airway. Now, if you can work with a, a good myofunctional therapist, someone who can help you with the back of your tongue, you should even be able to train your tongue to stay up at night while you sleep, and this will keep your tongue out of your airway. It doesn't mean you won't need orthodontic treatment or potentially other sleep apnea treatments or airway treatments, but it's critical that the back of your tongue goes up for the success of all of these other therapies and treatment modalities. So don't forget about the back of the tongue. It's super important and it's super critical. And I guess the one last thing I'll say about it is the entire reason that we would do a phrenectomy or a tongue tie release is to help the back of the tongue go up. So, you know, for me, if you're going to do the procedure, there has to be a goal in mind. It's not just about releasing the tongue tie, it's about getting the tongue tie released so that the back of the tongue can now go up and create that stable harmony for the entire oral facial complex. All right, I hope this video makes sense. I hope that helps you guys. I know a lot of people ask me questions about the back of the tongue, so um, please get in touch. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to make, you can leave some comments below and I will be making videos like this again soon for you guys in the future.